Good old Ray. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed Ray's character in The Force Awakens. And one of the things that I enjoyed most was the mystery that surrounded her. But I didn't want the mystery to continue. I was thinking, you know what? When this last Jedi movie comes out, we're going to get all the damn answers that we need to the questions that we were left with after The Force Awakens. They're setting it up. They're giving us something to look forward to. So I went into this movie. Now, for those of you who went to see The Last Jedi, weren't you expecting to get some damn answers? Oh, you thought you were going to find out who Ray's parents were? You thought that you were going to find out who took care of this girl when her parents abandoned her? Like they showed us in that scene where she was like, please don't go. And she's looking up in the sky and there's a spaceship getting ready to go off to some planet somewhere. You know, uh, we thought that we were going to get some answers about that. Did you think that you were going to get some answers? You were going to find out who her parents were when she was in that cave and there was that little mirror effect. And she asked who her parents were and you see those two figures, right? And they're coming closer and closer and closer. You think you're about to find out who her parents were? No! Guess what? All you see is her fucking reflection. And you still get no damn answers in this movie. And, and what's sad about the whole thing is, you would think that there would be maybe some hope. Because Kylo Ren tells her that her parents are nobody. They were just some drunks who left her behind. Some people came along and said, you know what? I got some beer over here. Why don't you just go ahead and leave your daughter and come with us? And that's what happened. Okay, this is the explanation that we get after two fucking years of mystery. Two years of waiting to find out who her parents were. This is what the fuck we got. Her parents are absolutely nobody, which makes me give two shits about Ray. Now, I, I don't care about her anymore. Now, Kylo Ren is the interesting character to me now. Now I'm interested. Now I feel like the movie belongs to him now. Because I don't give a shit anymore about Ray. They explain absolutely nothing. Like I say, who's her parents? Who took care of her? Because when we saw her in The Force Awakens, she was already alone. She was like a loner who was collecting scraps so that she can eat. That's all she was in The Force Awakens. Okay? Somehow, she was trained with her staff. She knew how to fight. They don't explain any of this in The Last Jedi. Who trained her how to fight? How did she take care of herself? Who was with her? They don't, they don't talk about none of this. They don't address any of this, okay? It's almost as if the last Jedi pretends the Force Awakens never happened. Because they explain absolutely nothing. How the fuck did she get the Force? How is it in the Force Awakens when she was tied up on that ship with Kylo Ren that she was able to Jedi mindfuck that stormtrooper? And say, listen, you're going to untie me. And you're going to turn around. You're going to walk out that door. And you're going to leave the door open. Oh, uh, and don't forget, drop your weapon. He did all of this the second time. The first time it didn't work. He did all what she said. And she was able to do this with no training. How did she know how to do that? How did she know that she could do that? You think you're going to get some answers in The Last Jedi? No, guess what? Fuck you. Make up your own damn story. How about that? I mean, she's able to do all of these things with no explanation. She's able to uh, defeat trained fucking people in the force like Kylo Ren. She's able to uh, pull lightsabers towards her. She's able to do lightsaber battles. She's able to communicate light years away with Ben Solo. Uh, she's able to crack the ground and just lift rocks up. She's able to do all of this shit without a single fucking day of training. And we don't get any explanation at all. Why do I need to give a fuck about her character anymore? And guess what? Those of you who are hoping that maybe... Kylo Ren lied to her about her parents. Maybe her parents, you know, hey, maybe her parents are Skywalkers. Maybe, uh, 
maybe uh, Han Solo and Leia. Maybe her and Kylo Ren are twins. Maybe they're going to do just a complete turnaround in episode nine. Well, guess what? The books say that it's true. Her parents really are nobody. So don't go into episode nine thinking that some shit is going to change. It's already fucked up. Her parents are nobody. She's able to do all of this for no reason, with no explanation at all. She doesn't need any training. She could do whatever the fuck she wants to do, and no explanation is needed whatsoever. You want an explanation? Fuck you. Make up your own damn story. That's basically what you got to do with Ray. I'm just massively disappointed, man. I mean, I waited two years, man. You know, just like uh, in The Force Awakens, they ended that movie with her seeking out Luke. They wind up on that cliff. She hands him his lightsaber. And you're thinking, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen in the next episode? I can't wait. Two years went by. And what do we get? He takes the lightsaber from her hand and he throws it behind his shoulder off the fucking cliff. That's what we got. Luke acted like a complete bitch the entire movie. A grumpy old fucking goat. And I'm going to make a separate video about good old Luke. Oh yeah, we're going to talk about Luke. But Ray, it's like I say, I don't really give a shit about her now. Too many missed opportunities in The Last Jedi, man. Horrible fucking writing. Horrible, man. And I'm not going to make a complete video about this particular character, so I'm going to add him in here. We're going to talk about Snoke, okay? Who the fuck is Snoke? Who is he? Are we ever going to get to know? Guess what? No, we're not going to know. You want to know why? Because he was chopped in half and half his body slid down to the damn ground. Okay, now this guy was able to manipulate Ray and Kylo Ren. Um, he manipulated Ray to believe that Ren was going to turn to the light side. This is what she saw in her vision. Okay, and the opposite happened with Kylo Ren. He thought that he was going to be able to pull Ray to the dark side. Um, they explain in the movie, well, Snoke says that he played both of them for fools. That was him playing with their damn minds and putting those visions into their head. Now, Snoke, he's able to do all these fucking things. We don't know anything about him. We don't know where he came from. Nothing. Nothing. And we never will because he's dead now. But he was able to do all these mind fucks on them. He was able to uh, sense the conflict within Kylo Ren between the light and the dark. Basically called him a little child. Had no respect for him at all. But he's able to read his mind and his thoughts and all this. But he had no fucking clue that Kylo Ren was about to slice his ass up with that lightsaber. He had no idea. All Kylo had to do was turn the lightsaber towards him behind his back with his fingers and turn the lightsaber on. And that's it. Snoke is gone. Who gives a shit who he is? Who gives a shit about his backstory? You want to know what his backstory is, goddammit? Fuck you. Make up your own damn story. That's what we get in The Last Jedi. I want to make a video about Luke right now, but I, I'm just so drained talking about what I've talked about already that I'm just going to save it for another day. Okay, But I will get back to Luke because I, I just can't even believe what they did with this guy, man. I just, I can't believe it, man. I can't. There were so many different things they could have done with that last scene. And what they did was just completely stupid to me, man. They need to make sure that guy, what's his name? Ryan Johnson or something like that. I think that was the writer for this particular film, which is completely different. I think J.J. Abrams did The Force Awakens. And this Jocelyn guy did The Last Jedi. Why are they doing this like this? You know, George Lucas, he had all three movies written out. He had all, everything written out, and then he made the movies. Why are they doing these movies one by one with the writing? Why can't they just write a complete story and then split up the episodes like that? Because now, now we got these fucking problems where these movies don't connect, man. They don't. If you watch 
The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi back to back, you are going to be like, these movies just don't match. They don't go together. I now don't give a shit about episode nine. Because I'm going to wind up confused because now I think J.J. Abrams is going back to write episode nine. So now he has to try to fix the mess of episode eight. And we're going to be left confused again, man. And that's supposed to close the series off. The series is completely fucked, man. That, that's my opinion. And I'll say it once again. The only thing that I enjoyed about The Last Jedi was the look of everything. The look, the music, and everything was great. Okay, but I need a story, man. I need a story that makes fucking sense. And The Last Jedi just didn't give it to me, man. It left me confused and pissed the fuck off at the end of the damn movie. Once I had time to just sit and marinate on what I saw, I ended up pissed off, man. They took a hot steaming shit all over the people who cared about this damn movie, man, in this storyline. That's what they did with The Last Jedi. But you guys leave your opinions in the comment section. I'm out.